Hello and welcome to Troyes, France, site of Albert Ten's friends Petit Jean plant. This plant is so interesting on so many levels that in fact we're starting our tour on the topmost level of the plant itself, where comfortable large walkways allow any operator to perform maintenance on overhead system at any time, even during production times. Much of what is galvanized here is also produced on site. This requires a plant that is flexible enough to streamline the operations on internal products while allowing to still work on third parties' manifests. Jamaica has created a wrecking bay where pieces to be galvanized can either enter the yard on automatic carts or through the usual large bay door. The advantage of setting up the standard product onto the sliding carts is that they can be easily prepared for racking in a wide space and are then quickly attached to the racks, thanks to the unique moving and adjustable rack supports. Once ready, they are then transferred to the initial buffer area with an interesting step-by-step -step advancement system that brings racks on the trolley that will lead them into the pre-treatment area. An online software allows the operators in the racking area to assign a specific process recipe to each rack, so that the automatic process software will manage its transit times from this point all the way to the finishing base. Alors, mon expérience avec euh, l'automatisation dans l'usine, c'était principalement euh, l'avantage de sa flexibilité, c'est-à-dire qu'on peut euh, faire un programme pour chaque rack et personnaliser, et du coup euh, gagner financièrement euh, sur chaque euh, pièce qu'on est capable de plonger. Et en plus, on a aussi euh, facilité de changer ce programme n'importe quand. Une fois qu'on est automatisé, on peut à un moment donné faire toute modification ou repasser en manuel quand on le souhaite. C'est le principal avantage que j'ai vu et par l'expérience qu'on a eu avec Jimeco et l'automate qu'ils ont mis en place. The large pre-treatment tunnel is characterized by automatic crane movements, which can be constantly checked on a large interactive screen placed outside. Following the recipe, racks are moved into the different pre-treatment tanks, allowing a perfect control on surface preparation. The crane system is equipped with two inverters, so that two simultaneous movements are performed at the same time, resulting in significant gain on processing speed. This tunnel is also quite special, as tanks are monitored and kept in perfect shape by an automatic metering system, which refills solutions and makes sure they are always efficient. What you see here is our standard five stages drying unit. The drying tunnel connects the pre-treatment tunnel, which is behind me, and the galvanizing kettle far on the right. Racks are entering the drying tunnel from inside the pre-treatment enclosure. That allows to not to disperse any fumes in the environment. Racks are then advanced all the way down to the last station, where what you see right now is the galvanizing crane going down automatically and picking up the rack to go into the galvanizing stages. This is a very important part of the production and the process because by using a drying unit and a five-step one, this allows single pieces of steel to be galvanized to remain nice and dry before they enter the galvanization step, avoiding splashes and warpage. Two large automatic overhead cranes operate across the galvanizing kettle. The crane on the right picks up a rack from the dryer, brings it to the kettle and immerses it. The one on the left will come and pick up the immersed rack, perform the extraction and finally seat the galvanized rack into the initial white buffer station. All operations, including dipping times, are automatic, allowing greater control on residence time in zinc and making zinc pickup much more consistent. We're here at the junction between two key areas in the plant, the galvanizing section of the plant on my left hand side and the white buffer on my right hand side. What happens here is that the automatic overhead crane system will park galvanized racks on a standing parking station, which is temporary here on the left. Afterwards, the software controlled by the operators in the finishing section will actually control an automatic crane that will pick up the galvanized racks from here and place them in the buffer region. 
The white buffer area serves as a central storage area for the galvanized product. From here, operators can plan the exact sequence of finishing and packing they want to perform, calling out single racks on the computerized system. Once called, a rack is positioned onto one of the two electric carts that will move them to the desired finishing bay. Here, the smart addition of moving rack supports makes the packing stage a quick step. When it comes to streamlining internal logistics and making the life of the operators in the field easier, Jimeco can really express its best. Environmental protection, the right amount of automation and a great finished product quality are the key features of this plant.